Hello everyone, welcome on back to Edgewater Saskatchewan. So we're at the dairy because, well, these are all high priced at the current moment. When I checked, it says October, but they're all at or above the max value. Even when I look in here, it says it's supposed to be higher in January, but we already got the prices now, so why wouldn't I just sell it? I also uh, noticed we have uh, some calves now in the uh, cow barn. Exciting news. That means that our, uh, we won't really have to buy too many more then. Um, because they're just going to reproduce, which will be nice. Now I need to go to the fast food restaurant. I didn't even think about taking that. Yeah, okay. I figured it was down there, but I wasn't quite sure where down there. I'm going to take a detour this way. We're going to swing by the store. Since I'm over here, I'm going to change the tires on this to uh, narrow tires. That way we can spray the weeds and fertilize the fields. The only ones that'll need to be fertilized are uh, this one and then the half pieced um, half piece field. I I don't know which one uh, is in there with the green feed oats by the main farm. Oh, we got seeds over here too. Uh, since I'm here, I'll repair it. Everything else good? I figured because we just <laughs> we just. Uh, did all that, so that's a max engine, right? Yep, okay. Figured I'd double check since I'm here. Arrow tires, there we go. There's actually a lot of different uh, positions on this. But I suppose this is a uh, modded tractor, so we'll pay for that. But shouldn't ruin the uh, crops this way. Which will kind of be nice. Don't really want it to ruin the crop, so. The wheels look new now. Main reason this tractor is getting them is because it's the only tractor with the Azera on it. And we kind of need that if we're fertilizing. Which we will be, so it just it makes sense. It really does. Uh, for most part, everything else on the farm can be done by other tractors. So that needs to be bailed up. That needs to be sprayed. We got multiple fields that need to either be sprayed or fertilized. Or both. So, we also have, what, two fields that are ready for harvest? One field ready for harvest? That back lintel field is ready for harvest, I'm pretty sure. So that is on the list of things that need to be done. Things, uh, you know, some things may not get done right away because I'm trying to focus on that was the wheat field because I would like not to hold on to the rock, rock picker too long. I uh, haven't checked the price, but I'm Pretty sure it'll be cheaper to hang on one more day versus returning it and leasing it again later. I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure on that. I'm pretty sure we also have that pile of rocks that need to be brought over to the stone crusher so we get some lime. I need some lime on. Uh, a couple of fields, really, I think. For certain, in the wheat field and then the one way out from us needs it. That was the peas. Get this sold here. This would be a nice $60,000. Plus $6,500 in environmental. Okay, so let's take a look. So... This field needs to be limed. Uh, that field was done. Half of that field was done. This will need to be limed. 
Jeez, what the heck happened there for weeds? What the heck? Um, when does this... Uh, oh, that's ready for harvest too. Oh boy, we got a lot of things ready. That's going to be hard, ready to harvest pretty soon as well. Uh, well, I think we're going to focus on trying to get the stuff sprayed today. Kind of needed. Kind of needed. I'm pretty sure I have the Massey and the uh, Semi over by the one field. I need to put the rocks into it so we can bring it back. Oh, it really is just solid weeds out there. In that spot. I suppose that means this one is kind of the same way. I've never seen them that bad for weeds. They're usually spotty, kind of like that. That's a lot worse than I've seen in the past. I guess we can put this kind of off the side over here. It will be used again, at least the trailer. Yep, I knew this was over here. Let's take a look for sales. Same one we have. It's in this is interesting, but I don't think we need the horsepower. That's 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 what I'm thinking right now on that. I saw that earlier when I logged in. I was just like, it's a great deal, but but dang it, no, no. I suppose I'll go find it. So for another day, it's six hundred. So yeah, it's cheaper just to keep it. Yeah, this needs pH badly. We have quite a few fields that badly need like pH or something like that. I think some of that is because we've been buying a decent amount of fields recently. This will take what five, four loads, four buckets. It's a little bit, a little bit front heavy. This is semi trailer abuse right now. <laughs> would not recommend doing that in real life. Uh, uh, that would probably wreck your trailer. When I say probably, very high chance. We won't be liming them today just because it needs to need to let the stone crusher do its job. Well, crush the stones. And I'm sure I'll end up driving probably the semi back now. All this will have to go back, but I'm I'm pretty sure a worker probably won't manage it. I've kinda learned that can't always trust it to. We need this to come back to though, the Massey, because I'll need it for the bales. Guess we can try it, see if the workers can, can manage. Great job. Go to. Hopefully they can figure it out. I'll bring this back. So I will have to dump this, so. Uh, what the heck? I don't even know where they're going. I haven't really tried the worker system on other maps, obviously, because, I mean, the other map is survival challenge, so I can't, but 
Is it like this on all maps where the worker doesn't seem to know where to go? I curious where they're going right now. They're going in through field 33. On the edge of field 33, it looks like. Are they actually going through it? They're going up this way to this road, and then they're going. Is there something with this road that the workers don't like it? Must be. Oh, well, yeah, the corn is definitely ready. That is for certain. I, I did bring it up in... I'm trying to think. I think it'll be up before this one. In Survival Challenge, where I had issues where the shadows would load, like, I don't know, I'd be about 20 feet away, and then they would load progressively, and they were kind of bothersome. I just lowered the setting, and it it looks better now, honestly. Because it loads it farther ahead. Um, at least less noticeably, just because of that. I know you can mess with um, XML file to get it to uh, to go wider, but I don't know which setting it is because uh, I have all of my view distances maxed, so it might be like foliage and train, maybe, or just foliage. I could potentially raise that quite a bit and just see if it does anything. I need to take the long way of backing this up. I can't really back up like I usually do. That should be active right now. Make sure it is. I'll make a little over 9,000 liters of lime. Plus, we have a bunch in there. It would be nice if, uh, like, cows, sheep, chickens, I mean, ex horses, pigs, all that. If they had different models if they were younger. They were a calf or something. So right now, they all look fully grown. And, you know, there's one-month-olds out there. It would not look that, uh, that big at this point, that's for certain. I'm trying to keep things away from that spot. I'm going to be putting sheds in there, hopefully somewhat soon. I'm trying to not park anything there for a little bit. I try to remember to do that. Fertilizing won't take too long. I got all the fertilizer I need. The lime would just take long because I need that to do its thing, and I might end up buying some as well. Ooh, hay is it's quite full of a bale, actually. It might still end up being hay, possibly. This is all grass. I, I don't have anything tethered for it right now. I actually had to check. Is it off? Okay. Just in case they left the tractor running. It'll still count as being worked on the machine. I'd rather not take that $1,000 uh, work lease fee. This should be max 240 this is, there be straw or tree hay? Oh, it'll be straw. I know at some point it doesn't turn in. It's kind of a a guess on when it is. It's probably closer to like the 90s to 80s range. Would be my guess at least. All those big mountains here. Now, this doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just trying to get a handful of bales. 
Kind of just uh, want to put some, at least for some bedding for the cows. That way they have something. I think we get manure if we have straw, actually. So then maybe we look to probably rent a manure spreader, unless we have enough money when that time would come. Well, I mean, there's no... There's no... Oh, there's slurry. I thought there wasn't. We're not getting slurry, so maybe if we had straw, we'd get slurry. I don't know. I'm really actually not sure. Well, what I think I'll do... We got, what, already one bale? Oh, I mean, it was already basically done. Well, what I'll do is I'll uh, time-lapse this. Uh, depending if we have enough time during the time-lapse, I'll either start working on fertilizing or something like that. Fertilizing won't take too long. Um, just because how wide of a width that spreader is. Welcome back, everyone. So this is done here. There's a lot of straw bales there. I was getting about halfway through, and I was like, "This is there's gonna be a lot here. I have a lot to stack." <laughs> that was what I was thinking the whole time. I don't think it'll be too bad. I don't know how many because I don't think I reset my bale counter, but. Well, I should be looking someone here I can see. Uh, session 13, actually. There we go. So there we have it. That's not too bad. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, man. But that'll be done when it gets planted. We still have oh, we have multiple fields of spray for weeds. How was this one doing? I think I did these, right? I don't think I actually did, huh? Let's do a little spinny around in here and then gotta call it good enough, I guess. So I'll bring this over here. I think we have enough herbicide for uh, for the fields. But mainly what I'm curious is... Uh, well first, how much horsepower is required for that plow of ours? Plow, plow, plow. 180. So basically all of our stuff can, can pull it. So put that there. So we'll put the plow on this, and 
while I am working on loading the bales, I'll try to get the first half done or whatever, and then I'll have uh, just a worker brought in and do the basically the basic parts of it, and I'll have to clean it up. Just since, uh, well, that's going to take a while, the plow, plowing. That's not a huge plow, to say the least. But it's significantly cheaper than buying, or not buying, but leasing a cultivator for one use. Um, I'll see if I have planned it out a little bit better and kind of knew what I was needing. I would have just... Uh, Leased it and did both of them, and just had it got that harvested right away. But you win some, you lose some. At the end of the day, I'll well, get everything set up here, and then we can. Yeah, we'll get kind of. We'll start over there on the other end. All right, there we go. We'll put the trailer there. Try and clean up probably these outside ones first. That way we can, well, easily get the John Deere and the plow through here. I want them to basically start on that end. They'll, they'll miss these outer edges. Uh, and then they'll just do the bulk of it. Then we'll have to go in and clean it up well, this isn't the greatest stacking job in the world it, and it won't be it definitely will not be I'm not the greatest at stacking bales that is for certain I'm even worse at stacking when my forks get stuck in them there we go that is weird it does that quite well, not frequently but surprisingly fairly often that they just kind of get stuck in there. I was hoping I could straighten that out, but uh, that does not seem to happen. There we have the, the first stack of them, first four of them. That should be enough room to get this started, that way we can... I'll get the little stubble up, and then we can, uh, well, pick the rock. I could have sworn I could do it before, but I, then again, we also did have a shallow cultivator at that time, so... That's probably what I'm thinking of. Make sure it allows off. It is okay. This will actually stir up even more rocks, I'm pretty sure. I'll we'll have to do one line, that way the worker doesn't cross it. And we'll have to try and stay ahead of it. A race against the plow, if you will. They'll probably get, what, three, four strips down until we got to worry about it. That's just for that one bale, and then it's quite a ways out. Yeah, I'm not quite sure if we'll get too many more fields anytime soon here, uh, just because it it's tough to... Uh, Manage what we already have at times. Oh. And, you know, that's fine. There's times where it's really tough to manage, and then there's other times where a couple months from now, once that's probably harvested and those, it'll be waiting. That's kind of just the... How it, how it goes, usually, and that's what we have contracts for. I, I maybe in the future I will... But it would have to be like a smaller to medium sized, kind of like this sized field. And it has to probably be somewhat close to one of our other fields. 
Because then I just put the same crop of what we already have in. Not sure how that's going to work with the telephone bowls there. Oh. Oh. We're, we're almost done, though. Well, what I think I'll do is a jump cut. And we'll uh, finish out like that. We'll do a jump cut and then, well, that way it'll be done. Welcome back, everyone. So we have this all uh, picked up, at least that I can see. The worker's making pretty good progress so far. Oh. Almost had him unstrapped. This is quite a bit of straw now, over 100,000 liters. Holy. This is not going to be fun to stop. Oh, I almost thought they were going to go in the river. I'll let the worker make, uh, make, um, some good progress over there. Oh, completed their task. I just said they were making good progress. Every time I say something good about the workers, they gotta prove me wrong. Every time, never fails. Yeah, I was hoping to get this field sprayed, but is what it is. Next video, we will have to get those sprayed. That field is going to be ready to harvest really soon. Uh, these are not so much, but... Now, I'm curious where this straw goes. I actually have no clue. Um, it could either go in there or go out here. So I think what I'm going to do, so this is a, a very large load of straw. I just want that top one. I'm just going to have to try and find out where it is. I feel like it would be in here, but maybe not. Well, the answer is no, because it's not being taken. Oh. Here? No. Oh. Well, it is definitely up here then. Right? <laughs> right? Um, that is really weird, actually. It's still not taking it. I've no clue where else it would go. Huh. So that is kind of weird. Um, as far as I know, it takes it. It says it has, uh, you know, when I look at here, it shows there's a straw amount. But where does it go?
Well, that's really weird. I'll have to probably do a little bit more investigating off camera at some point. It may not be, you know, next video or so, but at some point I'll just try a bunch of more spots, but. Oh. It must take it somewhere. I'm just not finding the exact spot. Well, if this video does go up, um, which it will help, it'll go up, but if anybody knows, let me know. Just in case, I might have already sold it by the time this goes up, but if I haven't, then I'll, uh, uh we go. Then I can definitely use it. I'm not sure where it goes, though. I thought the last time it was because it was flax straw. Really, that was not the case. So. I. I don't know. Let's just put this. Just, just, just put it right there. Yeah, I don't know where that goes, actually, then. Huh. I figure it would be either there, because that's where the hayhead went. Or up here in the barn. Huh. Well, I think I need to move these things. I might take that fence out. I'm going to buy that shed. Because we kind of need it. We have a lot of things that stay out right now, so. Oh, case in point. The drill, the feed mixer. The, the trailers I always kind of stay out, but it'll be nice to get rid of them or, you know, put them in a, a better place, which maybe if I take this fence out, then they can be backed into here then we'll have the undercover there. That would work. I'm sure I need this out eventually anyways, because I'm guessing the dairy is probably just about out of uh, water again. Or not water, milk. I haven't quite decided where I'm going to put the diesel tank yet. I might push back that little fence there and put it down there, maybe. We only have so much room in the yard. Lead the task. Sort of did. This will probably be where it's going to be difficult for him. No, they'll have a majority of it done. That should be everything we need out of the way. Let's go and get our... Uh, ooh, that's weird. i never seen it where it sold something else before that, that last item. It usually progressively moves down. You learn something every day, I guess. So, let's go and grab... It is in some buildings. Sheds, I think. They're about 20,000. So we got the big ones. That one might be a little bit too big. It overlaps with probably a tree, it looks like, there. And a slightly smaller one, which also overlaps with something. Right, yeah. right there, it's fine. Yeah, it's definitely that tree it's overlapping with. There we go. We'll put that there. That that post might be a little bit in the way, but... Because we can't de demolish it. We'd only take our power out. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, right? There, we can put our trailers parked into here. We'd still have the room. 
We have the workshop and we have three bays. I have to put some gravel down. It's gravel. This is not gravel. What texture is this? This is gravel? Oh, it's this is gravel. It's not gravel, it's gravel. Makes sense, right? Alright, it should be good there. That post is in the worst place. It really is. Yeah. There we have it. We have a workshop. We can put the trailers back in here. I thought about putting the diesel tank here, but I mean, we have augers. It's going to kind of get in the way more than anything. If we put it here. How far back could we put it? It's enough out of the way. It'd be fine. Uh, it's tools. I always forget where everything is. It's not tools, it's containers. I could buy one of these. A cat troll. There's also the, the pig trolls. Uh, I downloaded them because it was just because I thought they were funny. Uh, I kind of like this one. Uh, let's put it up here. That way it's not too close to the river area or anything. And we'll have to demolish the fence here. And we'll have to put more gravel in. This type of gravel. Specifically. So there we have that. This should just allow us to get diesel as we need it. Still have the bulk fertilizer tank and seed tank that I was wanting to get as well, but I'm not quite sure where we will fit those. Um, probably right in here, honestly. Lest we start taking some of our fields. That would be an option. Now, if I was going to take any of them, I'd probably take that small uh, grass field. Kind of just the, the most obvious choice, really. Unless I can move things around, which I should be able to now that we have a little bit more storage space. How's the worker going along here? Oh, perfect timing there. Probably, probably done, I'd say. I'll let him finish here, but... Yeah, I would say that is about everything for today. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.